Hi and welcome to Unity tutorial of a maze game. Okay, you can see this guy and uh, the other old man, they just hanging around, but this little guy here would like to get out of the maze, so... But th there are obstacles on his way, those boxes. If he dare mistakenly hit any... That's what happened. Okay. doing that okay let's see if he can get out of the maze anyway so it's now on his way out of the maze trying to make his way out let's see it's going towards the the maze is kind of like complicated for him to get through let's see if he can make it and yeah, let's see there's an obstacle Ouch. that's going hot Let's see if you can. Boy, you have to be careful. See that, guys? So, what I'm going to do is if you guys uh, really want this tutorial, I'll be very happy to put it together. But this is just an overview. If you want it, then I'm going to have to put it together. Okay, guys, let's start a new maze tutorial. I'm going to start by clicking on new. And I'm going to select 3D. And let's go in here, just enter maze underscore YouTube. There we go. Click on create. Okay, guys, my development environment is ready. The first thing I will do is I'm going to go straight into the hierarchy, or you can always go to the games and select 3D. Then you select plane. And I'm going to make the size of my plane come here where we have the transform. I'm going to change that to 20 by 1 by 20. That is fine. But I intend to add sort of like a pattern onto this plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here, right click, and let's go to create folder. And that folder, I'm going to call it texture. As you can see, the folder looks empty. It is empty with a gray edge around it because there's nothing in it. So I'm going to come here where I have my texture. I intend to use the the floor pattern and the brick. So let's select both. Select this and just drag them both straight into my texture here, the texture folder. So I now have something inside the texture folder. As you can see, the color of the folder has changed. Let's create another folder. This other folder, I'm going to call it materials. Okay. And there we go. So let's just call that material. Oh, I already have a material. But I need to create a folder called material. So let's create a folder and change the name of that folder to material. There we go. And this material you're looking at, I'm going to change the name of this very material. Let's gently click on it. I'll change that to pattern. And let's select this folder, this material that I've just created. I'm going to drag it straight into the folder called material there. Now, now I'm going to create another material I'm going to double click in there right click on this and let's come in here grab the material call that break there all right so the first thing is let's select this folder uh, this material called pattern come right here you see where we have the albedo click on that and that's the pattern that I wanted double click there the pattern is there now I'm going to drag that same pattern and just drop it right here, there, on my plane. Now, that of the brick, select the material called brick. Come right here where we have our video. Click on that and let's select brick. And that's all. The brick is already there. Now that the pattern is ready, let's come straight to, to the good gizmo here. Right click and let's select top. And let's zoom out a little bit. There. 
he said that we can see the, uh, the pattern that is the pattern I intend to or that's the pattern that my maze is going to just take the form of that very pattern so the first thing is to draw out that pattern I will come here the hierarchy select the hierarchy let's create an empty game object this empty game objects just gently click on it and let's change the name I want to change the name to means there and right click inside this maze and let's go to 3d object let's select a cube there, there's a cube in here now if I zoom in a little bit look at that that's the cube there we go that is the cube and this very same cube let's change the size of this cube so I'm going to come in here change the X axis to about I think 20 might do 20 looks a little bit too much but that's okay we can always get, take care of that let's take off about 15 from it make it 15 and there we go 15 looks like ideal for it yeah that is fine maybe we'll make it 16 yeah okay that's okay so what I'm gonna do now is come in here and let's right click select free so that we can see how it looks like that is how the the cube looks now the cube that is called that is just called cube anyway it has no name now this same cube I'm now gonna grab my material called brick grab it and just drop it right inside the cube or you can always drop it here as well the choice is yours wherever you want to drop it there we go now take a good look at my cube you can see how it looks it's kind of like look distorted so let's find a way to get it to look normal so I'm going to come straight to the properties here and let's look for I think we should select this let's select the material let's look for tiling this very one and I'm going to change that to about let's go for four let's see how that's gonna look like now not this one undo I meant to take care of the emotion tiling there we go look at that let's see what three that is how three looks like yeah that's not too bad okay it's not too bad but the thing is the the brick kind of like look a bit too wide so I'm gonna come here change the scale let's make it about maybe 0 0.4 and let's see how that's gonna look like right click and let's go to the top yeah with 0 0.4 that is not too bad neither all right now let's continue with the design of the maze so I'm now going to copy that control D and just drag and just press control D drag it and place it right there or well, I'm even kind of like looking maybe I should just make that let's see what shall we maybe we should change it to 0 0 0.6 0 0.6 might looks a bit more better yeah 0 0.6 I'm gonna set you for 0 0.6 and let's reduce this to about maybe 11 and just drag it that much position it properly I'm gonna change this to 0 0.6 as well all right so it's coming up gradually all right so let's copy this very one here so come right here just right click duplicate and where we have rotation I'm going to change that to 90 degrees there we go that is it move it this way and take it right up there that is fine I think we're going to have to add, add a little bit more make that 21 that might not be enough 23 let me take it up that seems to be too much one okay that's a little bit short 22 might do it 22 yeah 
all right that is fine now we need to repeat the same thing here and we'll copy this control d there and let's change that to zero degrees instead of 90 and let's bring it right here that way add a little bit more to that okay let's set it for about 24 and just move it this way now control d copy bring it up here yeah okay but well, one thing is i'm not satisfied with the width of this pattern okay i'm not too satisfied with it looks like my q might need to be increased a little bit so i'm going to come in here and make that 0 0.8 yeah let's move this and see okay 0 0.8 looks like it covers it a little bit more or maybe we just leave it as one okay let's go back and just change it to one one okay it's now one but here the y axis i'm going to make that about eight right no that's the wrong one undo that select all of the cube and change this the y axis to about eight or maybe that's a five for now yeah okay that's fine now the next thing is i'm going to copy this very one Control d bring it right here push that up that's good yeah that's very good that's fine now grab this again Control. Maybe you should grab this. Let's look about the same size with us. Control D and bring this right here. And let's make that 90 degrees. There we go. Right, that's looking good. Alright. This looks about the same size with this. Grab it, control D and bring it to right here. Push it down. Yeah. Okay guys, so this, that is how you create your maze. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing here. So let's come in here. It's gonna take some time, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. Control D, bring this up here. Take it down a little bit. And increase the size of that to about 25. Seven. Take it up. Control D. Bring that here. And let's add about we'll make that forty. Take this up. Maybe we should set it for forty-two. Right. Okay, that's coming up nice. So make this one Control D and use it to cover that up. size of this 42 so we'll go for 42 here as well I think it's a little we need a little bit more 45 no 50 yeah there that is how it's looking you guys might not be able to see what I've done so far so I'm going to just kind of like turn it around so that we see let's go for free all right look at it that's how it's looking nice coming up nicely okay let's go back to the top all right grab this where one control d and take that up here so and so on guys i'm going to have to speed this up else all you'll be looking at is just me saying control d and moving the cube moving the yeah the cubes around so i'm gonna have to speed that up and get back to you guys 
okay guys it's all almost done now apart from maybe this let's just copy that control D and just bring it down right here there we go right I think the yellow lines there we may have to put something that is destroyed that we can destroy there okay or something that will give way that is fine so I'm going to just run it and let's see how that's going to look like for now then we take it from there so let's run we'll change it first to free okay that's how it's looking that's good now run they won't be able to walk around the maze yet because uh, I'm going to need to grab something from uh, from the standard assets. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into the Unity Archive. So let's go into Unity Archive right here. You see the, with the Unity 2018, I'm going to click on that and I'll look for Unity 2.1 or 1.2, something like that. I should be able to see this yeah this this very one let's drop this down should be able to get standard asset there no there is none there maybe 1.2 let's go right right down here yeah let's try this one out 1.2 come in here drop this down there we go that's it I have standard asset here I'm going to download that so let me minimize this so that you guys can see that is it right there i've already downloaded it okay i mistaken download to other nature i'll stop this one from downloading so that is it right there let's open show the folder wherever it was downloaded that is it right there now we're going to add that straight into my system so let's minimize all this so to do that let's go back into my system here come right here and i'll just right click let's go straight to yeah let's come in here import package right there customize package so i extracted it all in here so let me just grab it anyway so the ones i'm going to need is going to be the Let's grab the environment. I need the environment and that of the character, but let's grab the character first. And that is the character coming into my system now. That's the character all I then need to do is I'm going to click on install or import. I mean, but let's see, let's check out what I might not need. Okay, right here I've noticed two of the C sharp scripts. You see this very one simple activator menu i'm going to uncheck that because i know that's going to give me an error and there's another one you see the force reset i'm going to get rid of that as well i don't need those two let me just look around so i've i've unchecked those two c sharp script talking from experience i always have error with them so there they are one two so i'm going to click on import there okay guys the first stage of the standard asset is already installed that is it right there so what i'm going to do is i just want to grab the go into the character you see where we have first person i'm going to grab that i don't really need that but i just need to use the first person controller to walk around the maze so I'm going to grab that. Let's drop it maybe somewhere here. There. And I'm going to run it now so that we can just move around the maze. And you guys should then see what I'm talking about. Look at that. Okay, let's go in here. Is there any other way out here? Yeah, there's another way out here. Look at that, guys. Yeah, that is nice. See that? And and that's it oh that's blocked let's see if there's any other way out there's another way out here so that is it for the controller so i'm going to stop that let's stop it 
there. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add. Let's come in. Let's go back in here. You see the first person that I controller. I'm going to uncheck that the FPS controller. Just uncheck it. Disable it for now. And I will go back into the character and let's go to third person character and grab that. Go to the prefab. Grab the third person. And I'm going to drop it right there. Grab and just release it there. There. Okay, the third person is there. Let's increase the the size. I'm going to scale it about five by five by five. That is a right there. And let me check out my camera. Okay, that is it. I can see the guy right there. So let's run it, and you guys see him how it looks like. Though we won't be able to follow him around as such, but we can use the yeah, we can use the HB writes one or two lines of code to get him so that the camera can follow him around. And let's see, I don't like that because he can always jump. I, yeah, no, I don't want that. So what I'm going to do with the, with the maze that I've created, and that is why I have all the maze in, uh, in their own folder here. I've collapsed it. If I select that folder, look at that, I've been able to select every single one of my maze okay that's one good thing about having them organized in a folder you see that guys all right let's do one thing come in here i have approximately about 100 plus there okay 122 select it all and i'm going to come here it's five let's make that about maybe seven i don't want this guy to be able to jump over has taken a shortcut I don't want that for him I want him to walk around the maze so let's see that let's go straight to the wall let's see yeah I don't think he can jump past it I might end up making it around eight but for now okay let's go back into my standard asset here I'm gonna need some other material so or some other asset so right click and right click here on the project area let's go to um, import packages come right here I might as well go straight to the environment because I'm going to need some trees so select the environment and there add that straight into my standard asset yeah the trees this is for the environment but guess what I can still see that very script so I'm going to uncheck it. That is it right there. It's going to give me a problem if I don't do that. And I also have this. Okay. Force resets. That's going to give me a problem as well. Uncheck that. Yeah, and that's fine. So let me import the rest. Let's see first. Yeah. Import the rest. I don't want that. The import. okay i think i now have the environment right in here that is it that's the environment there okay that's it that's it the trees are right in here speed tree is called there we go and we even have palm trees and so on okay the choice is just whatever you want or how you want it to look like so if i grab this i can just dump it there okay let's increase that to about the height maybe about five. Oh boy, that's too high. So let's make it about maybe two. And we'll move it in so that I just I just want to see how that's gonna look like. And let's run it and see. It's right beside him. Okay. Okay, let's bring it out to undo that. Alright. You can see the box collider around it. It's sort of like very wide. We find a way to reduce that though. We look at the amount of space around it. Okay. All right. Now that we have the trees in place, let me go back to my environment in there. Grab some trees in here. 
that is okay let's grab this border leaves let me grab this and just paste it right there and I'm going to arrange those ones conveniently and uh, so that it will give it a look yeah maybe one or two somewhere here let's make it look a little bit busy or give it a life there okay now let's do one thing I'm going to come in here I need some buildings so let's go straight into my into windows click on windows we need package manager so I believe you guys you by now you should know how to import some uh, access straight into your package manager so once your package manager is enabled I'm waiting for it to be to become enabled then I can select all or select my own asset here we go it's ready if you haven't imported anything I will advise you to select all but because I do have those on my system so let's scroll right down I should be able to see white city but if I can't see then I'm gonna to have to search for it one way or the other let's come down here go back in here and let's select my asset and right in here I'm going to type in white city and I also need the all sky free oh let's grab that I need that right away all sky all sky free there we go so that is about 312 megabyte so I'm going to select that import it straight away I need the all sky free now grab that okay I'm going to click on import there now I'm importing the asset from the all, all sky free okay guys I'll finish importing the all sky free the other asset I'm going to need will be white city and there we go that's the white city okay if you have any need for that you can also download that so I'm going to click on import that's only six megabytes so let's click on import there we go there. white city is in place so I'm going to also import building apartments so I may not have to wait for that that is it right there uh, which one I'm talking about this very one uh, that is 10 megabytes building apartments so let's click on import and click on import again and that is it guys all done I have all skybox building apartments so let's close this and white city should be right down here there we go white city right there so I have all of them in place the, the first one I'm going to make use of is uh, the all sky free if I run my program let me just show you how the sky looks like for now that's it that's how my sky is looking right now so let's end that and go straight to windows click on windows and we scroll right down here let's select rendering select lighting and right inside this very dialog box I'm going to select environment and where we have skybox material let's select click on this small icon in there and let's look for a suitable sky for us look at this one of these will be ideal but this one will bright up the whole place that is exactly what I want so I'm going to double click on that there we go and just close that if I run it down my sky is already in place so let's see how that's gonna look like look at that it's beautiful close that now the next thing I'm going to do is you see right inside the building apartment or let's go for all sky free all um, white city first double click on the prefab 
and right here the building the folder that says building double click on that there are different types of buildings in here i'm going to grab the number 12 look at that that is beautiful so let's grab the number 12 and just kind of like peg it somewhere let's look for a suitable place for it okay there's enough room in there let's move it back a little bit that is number 12 and I'm going to reduce the size or resize it a little bit okay, let's select the scaling tool yeah and position it somewhere yeah that's fine okay that's number 12 in place all right that's fine i can always copy that Control d and just copy it there yeah. i have another one that is good so let's look for another kind of building let's come in here right click top yeah okay we need to reposition the two of them all right that's fine okay that's all right all right okay we can even copy that copy control d drag it yeah all right that's that's okay that's number 12 now let me go back in here you see where we have building apartment let's grab some buildings in there that looks a bit old grab one of these and dump it right here increase the building size to maybe about 12 whoa that's too large the exile is let's make it eight no 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 maybe five yeah three okay three my three looks a bit okay three by three by three yeah that is okay so let's hold on to the control control d no what i've just what have i just copied don't do that i was meant to copy this okay let's copy the building control d and just move it here no it's not there yet control d right there okay that's my building in there so let me click and um, go to the free view all right it's looking great yeah. free view that's fine so i'm going to add more buildings in there uh, maybe one here just maybe put the red one the red brick dump the red brick in there three by three by three okay maybe two by two by two two and two we have a red brick in there so let's see is escape route the building and its escape route is very important to me depend on you guys wherever you want the escape route to be okay we have this building number 12 in the escape route that's fine okay we'll put a red brick here or come right here grab one building from the white city uh, let's look for this towering building this very one and just dump it right here okay and i'm going to rescale that yeah let's move it there and let's just rescale it it's a little bit too much take it down a little bit it doesn't look that good but yeah that's fine yeah a bit of room for him to walk around so let's maybe increase the height of that building a little bit more but it seems it's an office building okay that's fine yeah all right guys i think i like it but if i run it now what i want to be able to do is i want my camera to follow this guy around 
Okay, look at it. It's looking very beautiful. I like that. Good. good. Yeah. All right. Now let's do one thing. First of all, I need to save this. I've done a lot of work, so let's save it. Save us. So I'm just going to call it mini maze. There. And click on save. All right, that is saved. Now the next thing is you see all of these trees they are everywhere. I'm going to create I wanna let's create something for the trees and for the buildings as well. They're everywhere. So come in here where we have the hierarchy. Let's select an empty game object and I'm gonna change it to building. Let's just change the name of that game object to building. Buildings. There we go. I'm going to create another one that I will call trees. Trees. There. Okay. Grab all the buildings. Those are the buildings, the ones with numbers and apartment. Drag it and just drop it inside the folder called buildings. There's another one there. Number 13 is a building. Drag it, drop it in there. Yeah. 15, 14 and 15 there's 12 there grab that and I want it inside okay it's right here it's just 12 1 12 this and this drag them straight into the folder called buildings there we go collapse that now the trees here are the trees grab the trees and drop it into the folder called trees just want to tidy up things it looks so messy okay that's fine now you see the camera there select the main camera now what I want to do is I'm gonna come in here to make sure the main camera is selected I will then scroll right down look for the add components it's right here click on add components maybe you guys can see it let me select the camera again I'm going to collapse one or two things so that you can see me select that click on add components and we need a script so let's come in there type in script there that is it right there so I that very script and I'm going to give it a name camera camera controller there we go and press enter there I'll now select my script that I've just opened. Come right here, just click on open to open up the script. Okay, that's my script opened. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this comment. Just delete that. And let's declare the following. The first declaration would be a public game object. There. and this game object I'm going to call it player or shall we call it player or runner because it's actually trying to run around the maze so let's just call it runner there we go there that's my very first game object the second one or my first public variable the second one is going to be private we need the vector 3 so private vector 3 and this vector 3 let's ask it to actually offset the camera so that is it so I'm going to start by asking the offset to store the following that's transform that is supposed to be the position of my camera dot position and I'm going to now subtract that position of the camera from the runner which is the man you that will be running around it on the system or in the game the runner dot transform dot position so grab that so I've officially subtracted the position of the camera from the position of the runner let's enter semicolon there so that is right at the start okay then the second function here or method 
I want it to update but let's change that to late update so that we can see what the camera is doing at the end of the day so we're going to say the position transform the position of this camera equals the runner grab the runner dot transform that position we we add the offset there and that's all there is to the camera lines of code just these simple lines of code so i'm going to save that save that and let's go back to unity so back in here so i'm going to select the the camera okay and you come right here when you come right here what you see is it's asking you where is the runner the runner is supposed to be my my third person controller so i need to drag my te the third person controller grab that and just dump him right in there that is the runner so which means it's going the camera with that's who the camera will be following so let's run it and see what's going to happen now hopefully the camera should follow him to wherever he goes there we go look at that you see that guys so let's try to walk around the maze just for a little while there we go look at the camera is now following him around no come on man face where you're going you see that that's what i'm trying to achieve for the camera just to follow him to wherever he goes yeah that's good that is much better okay guys that's nice so the camera is now following him all around that's good so now that that is taken care of we also need to take care of one or two things let's add some sub collectibles so i'm gonna come in here let's grab one or two cubes so let's go back to our hierarchy here click on that and select the cube yeah cube and let's see that very cube moving a little bit where are you that's the cube there right and this very cube let's move it here i need to actually set to down the system so that is my cube there but it's very cube let's do one thing i'm going to come into the asset here let's double click on the material area right click and let's create the material yeah and that material i'm going to change the name to something yellow and let's go straight into albedo make sure the material is selected go straight into the albedo and i will select something yellowish color yeah that's fine and grab that very color drop it right on the cube there so i've just changed the color of that cube select the cube itself and in the transform where we have rotation i'm going to change that to 45 by 45 by 45 there now this very cube i want it to spin around so come back into my asset here right click and let's select script there so that very script i will change the name to rotator there we go open up the script double click on it there that's my script opened i'm now going to come in here you see the this method void stats get rid of that and let's get rid of this update comment as well and right inside here all i need to do is i'm just going to enter transform dot rotate so let's say transform dot rotate there we go and let me enter new vector so it's going to be rotating in all three axes so let's give it a um, the coordinate of let's make it 15 by 30 by maybe 
45 or we can go for 20 60 20 40 60 or whatever so that's fine so that's the angle is going to rotate for me so i'm going to come in here enter that if i run it now what you will see is this cube will be spinning amazingly so let's save that and come right into unity here let's see how this cube will spin that is the cube there i want to be able to see that very cube so let's look for this guy look at him right there it's far away from us so i'm going to go nearer to him so let's move the cube nearer to him so that we can see him see him and the cube okay the cube is now beside him but uh, it's now going to spin even if i run it because i actually need to add the code straight onto the cube that's the cube so let's come in here so the only way out is just to drag the lines of code and drop it right inside the cube there so the cube is now attached with the code so let's see that's lines of code right inside the cube so let's run it and see run let's see that look at that you see the way it's spinning i think that is too fast so the choice is yours guys now you know what to do so to reduce that spinning rate i'm going to come in here and just let's enter multiply it by time dot delta time there that is the time on your laptop or on your computer system so let's save that save and let's go straight into unity now back in unity or we'll minimize this there so let's run it and then we may look at that that is smooth okay so i'm going to end that and let's grab this very cube now okay i'm going to grab it you can give it a name but it's all right I'm, well, okay let's give it a name i'll just call it uh maybe diamond or enemy cube okay enemy cube okay i'll call it goblin cube goblin cube that's fine Gob. goblin goblins get rid of the cube yeah that's fine goblins that's the name now i'm going to drag my goblin right there drag it straight into my asset here to convert it to a prefab click drag and drop there the whole idea is so that i can reuse it that's the whole idea of having a prefab so you'll be able to reuse the the same component over and over again so stop that and right in here since it's not a, pre, a prefab i can just drag it drop it in there look at that i can do as many as i want and run let's see how that's going to work so the prefab would be all over the maze but here we have to find a way to avoid colliding on any of the prefabs okay so if you look in here now let's see what's going to happen with this very one you see that you see the rate at which it jump it can even jump ahead straight to the other other side of the maze i may have to increase the height of this maze as time goes on okay so that is how that is looking now see you guys shortly and welcome back okay guys what i want to try and achieve is you see when this guy here mistakenly collide on any of the goblin boxes or box i want those box to shatter so what i'm going to do to achieve this is i'm going to go into this website it's called devassets.com in fact all of this link will be included in the description area so the box that i need is right here is called western pro pack this very one click on that and of course you can always contribute to these guys okay so i'm going to click on that so maybe at least you guys can just offer something to them for their great job so i'm going to click on that to download it 
so once that is downloaded let's get that minimized and collapse this let's go straight to our games all right my western pro pack is already on my system so if i double click on it there go straight into the model right there and right here that is the folder that i'm looking for the folder is called wooden crate so if you click on that that is the wooden crate and here you see this one the very first one that i clicked on that is the uncracked one okay it's not cracked but here the second one you will see wooden crate cracked that's the one that, that i need really okay you can see the pieces of it right so i'm going to grab that just drag it and let's paste it somewhere here let me zoom in so that you guys can see it so that is it right up there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to sort of like click on this arrow to drop it down there we go and i will select all of the pieces because they are all into pieces as you can see look at it so let's add a mesh collider to it what the mesh collider does is kind of like adjust itself to each of the crack version so let's come right and right here where we have a uh, add components and i'm going to look for mesh collider that is it. click on that there we go i already have my mesh collider there and one other thing is i need I need to check out this convex here. Look at it. It's right underneath the mesh collider. Click on that. There we go. And you can see this all the different parts. They are all highlighted in green. Okay. And the other thing we need to now add is a rigid body. So come right here. Click on that and let's look for a rigid body. There we go. Add a rigid body to it. There each of them now has a rigid body and let's see see right here you see the mass i'm going to make it zero points maybe six kilo yeah that's fine there and let's see okay i'm going to leave it like that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go straight into my code here okay i'm going to now come straight in here grab the you see my rotator yeah that's where my code is going to be that's strange so let's double click on the rotator open it up and in here the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create so right inside my code view here i'm going to create a following let's say public game object and that very game object i'm going to call it break i said break box okay that is it now the next thing i'm going to do is let's create a private method in there so this private method i think i should put that right underneath here so i'm going to say private Void on collusion. Let's look for on collusion events. Come right there, it should be there somewhere. On collusion stay there. And in there, and I want to instantiate, which means I just want you to create as many as possible. Instantiate my breaker box, comma transform dot position comma transform dot rotate and that's all there is to it or dot rotation there we go there enter my semicolon there and right underneath I also want you to destroy the object that it actually collided with there we go that is game object enter a semicolon there as well and that's it that's all there is to it just these lines of code 
I'm going to make sure that is saved. Okay, so that is saved now. Just waiting for it to save. Okay, that's good. Minimize that. I'm now going to come in here. That is my, that is the crack version. Okay, and now I want to convert that very crack version. I want to convert it to a prefab. Okay, I'm only using that with my cube here that I call Goblin, so I just want it to get shot, and that's all. We can always use the one from uh, the Western Pro Pack, but I'm just using this one, that's cool. So, let's grab this, drag it, and just drop it right inside our asset store here. Drop it there. So, it's now asking me, do I want to convert it to an ordinary prefab I'm gonna say yes there we go and that is the right there and this very one I will just delete it from the system delete that is it done now you see my goblin this very ones if I select it remember there's a code attached to it the rotator was attached to it if I select it come right down here I should be able to see the variable called break a box that is the right there it's now asking me which box do you want me to break and that is the box right here this very one click drag and drop it right inside there there we go okay that is that all done so what I'm gonna do next is because the color is not the same I'm, I'm gonna change the color but before that let's run it and make sure we are able to break the we are able to destroy these goblins then I just change the colors around. Let's see. There we go. Uh, let's okay. Let's go for any of the one. Oh, we are able to jump. That should not happen. Okay, that means I'm gonna have to increase the height of the maze. Has to be increased. Let's see if this one. Yeah, we're able to break that. Look at it. Look at that. It's all ch shattered. Look at the up the next one and these other ones let's shatter, get this one shattered as well look at that okay so i'm going to change the color of everything let's go in there gently there all right that's good and i will also add sound to it first thing first let me go straight into that material where is it material here double click on that that is the color select the color come right to the albedo and just select something grayish yeah that's it it now looks like the box that i'm breaking so that's fine okay now the next thing i want to do is let's save that save what i've done so far the next thing that i want to do now is the is to add sound let me add sound to this very box there okay first of all i need a sound which i don't have in here i think i have one on my system let me look for it so let's come in here i think i have something here where is it explosion let's look for that you can always look for an ideal ideal sound for you so let's come here there we go large explosion let's drop it in there there now close this i don't need that anymore i'm going to select my prefab of the cracked version and let's come in here you see where we have Add component click on add component what we need is audio source there we go that is the audio source in there and now I've now added an audio source to my crack version here so I will now grab the sound and just drop it right in there there we go the sound is there and make sure you click on play on awake I don't want it to loop so I'm going to leave it as that this sound is very high so let's come in here and just kind of like reduce the volume I think this is the volume let's reduce it kind of let's see could it be this one let's come in here I'm just going to move this down a little bit I think that is the volume I think let's see volume and that is it. one the peach take it down a little bit more and let's run it and see what's going to happen 
So I'm going to collide on one of those boxes. Let's collide on this one. I can't hear the sound. Okay, I'm going to go back to the to the setting. Let's come in here. You see the peach? Take it back up and see what's going to happen first. Then I can adjust the volume. Let's see what's going to happen. And run it. Let's see. There we go. You hear that, guys? That is good. So let's go to the next one. Oh. See, those are the boxes. Here. He has to find one way or the other to make sure he avoids those colliding with those boxes. There will be those boxes everywhere in the system. So I've achieved that now. So close that. I now need to add more of those boxes everywhere. So come in here. I call the boxes. There we go. It's called goblins. So let's come in here, add more goblins all around. There. So there will be goblins on his way. So it's left for him to find a way to avoid them. There we go. So let me just speed that, speed that up. Click on here and add more goblins around. Yeah. More here. Okay, I think we have enough goblins on the system now. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do now is because he was able to jump over this the maze. So I'm going to come in here and let's select all of the maze. Come right down here. I think I'm going to have to just pull it up a little bit. And there we go. Let's pull it up. Maybe that might be too much. Just tiny a little bit more. Yeah, because I think seven is fine. Now run. And that is it. So I don't think he can jump anymore, no matter how. <coughs> nope, you're not gonna make it, boy. Alright. <coughs> so like I said, all we need to do is to try and avoid. Yes, he should try and avoid those. Right, go through there. I think it might be. Oops. Let's find a way to get out there. Let's see, come through here. I think there might be way here. This seems to be too high though. Oh, there's another one there. No, there's no way out here. You stuck. Let's see. Come back through here. Yeah. Nope. I think there's way out here. Come back. Yeah. And there we go. Avoid that. Yeah, it's out. It's out. There we go, guys. Yeah, he made it out. There, look at that, guys. That's nice. There's a building in there. There shouldn't be any building in front of him. And that is it, guys. Okay. And one other thing I'll just need to do is, and I'll just make sure there is, there is a wall covering everywhere else. It's going to just fall over. Fall over. So I'm going to end that. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, if I run it, look, it's gonna fall over as you can see. See that? Alright, so let let him fall over. Look at that. We don't want that. So I'm gonna stop that. And let's come back to this gizmo here. Go to the top. I'm just gonna add walls around it. So let me grab one of these walls, this very one here. Okay, let's just grab one which is long enough. Here yeah, grab this and control D to copy it I'm gonna make that about 200 is that, is that long enough yeah I think so 
all the way yeah so i'm going to copy that control d again and move it right here and copy another one control d change that to zero and bring that here take it right down here yeah control d grab another one there yeah. so and i have walls around so you shouldn't be able to fall over anymore and as you can see those are my walls there we go look at that this is beautiful guys okay see this wall you can as you can see you can always change the tilings let's make it look a little bit more presentable the choice is yours you know how to do that by now there so that is how you create your own maze game in unity let's run it and see how that's gonna look like look at that guys but there's one thing this wall seems to be too high though because while i was playing it i couldn't see much of it so i'm going to select it all again and just maybe reduce it or push it down a little bit select all and come in here and just make it about six there run there is still more work to be done you can also you can also apply lines of code so that we can count the whatever collectibles or if you want to call it space goblin or if you want to call it corona, ooh, corona boxes you can call it whatever you like so the whole idea is for him to be able to avoid he must be able to avoid the boxes and one last thing that is left is just for us to add the the big old man that was smoking smoking Joe. so i'm gonna end that let's come in here and just add smoking Joe somewhere here yeah that is it right there you can always get that the, the character of smoking Joe I just call him smoking Joe. You can always get that in uh, Nismo. So let's reduce the size of that. I'm going to make it about 0 0.1. And make the other 0 0.1 as well. There. And let's position it right in there. Oh, well, that seems to be too big. Maybe I should just make it 0 0.0. .0 Yeah, that will do the trick. There we go. And that's it. So we don't have to position him properly. Right there. And yeah, that's uh, Smoking Joe in position. But there's one more thing. Make sure it's selected. I'm going to come in here. Let's go to the third person right here. And let's, let me grab the animator. I'm just going to select Smoking Joe again. Drag the animator and just drop it in there. It's not going to move around. It, it will just be standing there. Just shaking his body. That's all he will be doing. So let's run it and see. You see that? So let's move now. You see the Smoking Joe is there? So let's just go around the maze one more time. So I'm gonna speed that up so you guys get the whole idea anyway. There we go. There. Okay. So with that, guys, I'm gonna call it the end of this very beautiful tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed. And I will also include the the link to all of the probes and the the assets that I use for the development of this project and there we go guys so i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial you all have a nice day now and bye for now and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel it only costs about one pound 99p so please join and become a member of the channel that helps with the development of this channel and i also have a second channel that channel is known as paul omen so have a look at Paul Omen's channel and you will enjoy every single tutorial that I have on that channel as well. 
So with that, I'm going to say bye for now. Have a nice day, guys. And thanks for watching.